Honorable President, sir, my fellow officers from the Ministry of Overseas Indian Affairs, the event managers of this event, and the 36 young men and women of Indian origin who have been selected for the 21st No India program. As you are all aware, the No India program of the Ministry of Overseas Indian Affairs is organized with the objective of familiarizing Indian diaspora youth in the age group of 18 to 26 years with the developments and achievements made by India and bringing them closer to the land of their ancestors by way of a three-week stay in India. Honorable President, distinguished guests, and my fellow colleagues, namaste and good afternoon. I stand before you feeling privileged and blessed to have this opportunity. My name is Amira Kalya, and I am an economic student from Johannesburg, South Africa. I would like to share my expectations and discoveries as a participant in the 21st No India program, visiting incredible India, our motherland, for the first time. I heard about this program via fellow students at my university. They were from Durban and had attended the 20th program. They had shared information of their experience in every discussion we had since their return. From culture to politics and even cinema, we heard about the tastes and colors of India. The more I spoke to them, the more my expectations evolved. By the time I had applied, I had expected a program that was entirely formal and academic. Lectures, seminars, and debate. Yet myself and many other participants were pleasantly surprised to know that we were going to explore and experience much more here. From cultural and historical to religious and entertaining, we have been fortunate enough to see all of these aspects in a mere 10 days. We are now a family. Anywhere else in the world, and it may seem surprising that people call each other family after being familiar with each other for hardly two weeks. But in India, it could be no other way. 36 fortunate young minds from around the globe have had the opportunity to come to India, as we now call it, home. I would like to end off with a quote that sums up what India means to us. It reads as follows. If there is one place on the face of the earth where all the dreams of living men have found a home from the very earliest days when man began the dream of his existence, it is India. Thank you. The Honorable President, ladies and gentlemen, and my dear colleagues, namaste. My name is Samir Chand, and I'm an analyst with the Reserve Bank of Fiji. Amira has certainly shared some interesting aspects on her behalf, and that holds true for most of us sitting here. I will further discuss other matters as I am very fortunate to be part of this 21st No India program. From the moment we have arrived at Delhi International Airport, everyone has been so nice to us. Not only the officials from Ministry of Overseas Indian Affairs, but every person from India. Sitting at the lounge of the Hotel Rockland, we have been envisaging on how India would be like. Most of us had different aspirations and expectations coming here, but coming here and seeing for reality how India is, has been finding a right connotation in the dictionary is impossible. We have heard about India through books, media, and the movies. But coming here and seeing from the streets to the rooms to the places has been phenomenal. We have been very fortunate to visit numerous places, some of them being the Indian Institute of Public Administration, Akshadam, Lotus Temple, the Indian Center for Cultural and Research and Training. For me personally, the visit to the Lotus Temple and Akshadam were spiritually informing for me. Going there and seeing the spirituality is something that I will always cherish for a lifetime. It's a life learning experience. Like I said, India is about colors and dreams, and seeing it firsthand has been phenomenal. Finally, to conclude, I would also like to thank the Ministry of Overseas Indian Affairs, the Government of India, and the Integrated Conference and Events Company for giving us this opportunity, in simple terms, turning our dreams into reality. Finally, to you, Honorable President, for taking our time for a busy schedule and meeting us. It is an indeed honor to meet you today. Thank you and thank you.